Titanfall made by the creators of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare was announced back in June of 2013 at E3. It was instantly praised by fans and critics alike receiving over 80 awards. What happened after the initial announcement will go into the history books as being one of the most hyped games and criticized games of all time. Whether it being hyped and criticized for console wars is an entirely different subject. What I'm here to do is give you an honest opinion on Respawn's Titanfall. Titanfall is powered by the source engine that Valve used for games such as Portal, and even though it isn't the most remarkable engine in the world, I really have to give a lot of credit to Respawn for achieving what they have. It isn't the most beautiful game from a technical standpoint, but what it is, is an awesome artistic style due to the set pieces it sets you in. Titanfall is entirely an online experience, so of course the maps will play a huge role, and thankfully, Titanfall has some of the best maps I have ever seen on any competitive multiplayer game. It has a wide variety along with different artistic palettes for different maps, and even though Titanfall does have a cool artistic style with great maps, it does suffer from FPS drops on occasions. It seems to happen on rare occasions, but it still can happen from time to time. And as I mentioned before, this is an entirely an online experience, which includes the story. And I'm going to tell you this right away, the story isn't really any different than the main multiplayer. Just has a few dialogues and cutscenes from time to time. And that is where I'm going to tell you that Titanfall is superb. This game is honestly one of the most fun games I've ever played. It is easy to just pick up and play whether you're hardcore or a casual gamer. Since Respawn included AI opponents, it seems that casual players can have fun killing AI along with the real players, where the hardcore players seem to be able to run the map with an addictive parkour and tear pilots apart. Pilots are the real players, by the way. Respawn also set the game up to where you can call for your Titan after a specific amount of time, rather than using the usual kill streaks that so many games use already. However, the more people you kill, the faster your Titan will spawn. This once again caters to both the hardcore and casual players. You can choose from three different titans. The ogre which is powerful with a lot of defense, the strider which is fast and offensive, or the atlas which is more of an all around titan. Each has their own pros and cons and it really depends on the player which they like the most. Personally my favorite is the strider for its mobility and fast pace to eliminate pilots that are scrambling on the ground. And before I bought Titanfall, I honestly did not think that I was going to like playing as the Titans. And I couldn't possibly have been more wrong. The Titans mobility, quick speed, and tactical maneuvers allows them to be fun while also playing completely different than the pilots. It is almost as if you're playing two different games when you're in a Titan and when you're running and jumping across the map as a pilot. While being the pilots, you have a few different techniques and abilities to, that you can use in your arsenal. Of course the parkour that everybody knows about, but you can also cling to walls to ambush your opponents or maybe even turn invisible that allows you to go out in the open escaping both pilots and titans. You can also jump on friendly titans to get around or jump on enemy titans to destroy them. And even though I'm praising titanfall across the gameplay elements, it does have one flaw. Weapons. This is the only issue that I really have with titanfall. There isn't a huge variety in weapons, and in fact the first weapon that you unlock, which is a standard assault rifle, can be argued as the best weapon in the game. There is other weapons like the longbow sniper, DMR, the car submachine gun, the smart pistol, the shotgun, and a few others, but really the best overall weapon does appear to be the assault rifle. For the people curious about the sniper, it is a one shot kill, but due to how much you have to lead it and the fast pacing of the game, it can be incredibly hard to use. This is why I will tell you that the DMR is a much better precision weapon. It's more accurate, more reliable. You also have anti-titan weapons to either destroy pilots with or titans, but for the most part you'll be focusing on pilots while you're on the ground, making anti-titan weapons be used on rare occurrences. And this is where I'm going to tell you two different things. Titanfall has a lot of content when it comes to maps and variety, but it lacks on the weapons front, but makes up for it with Titans in some ways. When all said and done, Titanfall is pure fun and a blast to play with friends. Yes, it could have more weapons, but the sheer amount of maps and the diverse gameplay with Titans and pilots really keeps the game ongoing and different throughout. 
It is different than any other game that I've ever played, so if you're looking for a fun multiplayer game to play competitively, or just waste some time on, you can't possibly pick a better game to play on. 